In the month of July, electric car sales reached a new record. Worldwide, they hit 11% market share. Doesn't sound like that big of a number, but actually it is. I think we're going to see a very quick disruption here over the next 24 months, as you've seen. We've just seen some incredible reports showing the declines in cost of batteries this year have been staggering. Lithium price has hit new lows, and therefore we're looking at major disruption. More and more Chinese EV makers and more and more legacy automakers are making more EVs and they're making them more affordably. Prices are coming down. These are the best, the 10 best selling electric cars in the world in July this year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Number one, I think we all know what number one's going to be. It's the Tesla Model Y with 77,300 deliveries. Number two was the Tesla Model 3 with 36,000. Number three was the BYD Dolphin with 31,960. Number four, the BYD Addo 3, followed by the BYD Seagull. Then we have the GAC Aon S with 22,000 deliveries. That was followed close behind by the Wuling Bingo. So the Wuling Bingo is a cheap electric car made in China, not sold overseas yet. Then next we have the first legacy automaker here, Volkswagen's ID4, 17,000 deliveries. So as you can see, the ID4's deliveries worldwide, 17,000 were really actually quite a small number if you compare those to Tesla's 77,000. 17,000, 77,000. Yeah, incredible difference there. Next was the Chang'an Lumen. That was followed by the Volkswagen ID3 with 13,000 deliveries. And then after that, there was a few more BYD electric cars that followed close behind with around about 11,000 deliveries. So as you can see, BYD does rule these numbers. So does Tesla. Clearly BYDs and Tesla's lead are growing. However, there's one company that is kind of growing with them. GAC Aon. GAC Aon announced that they are building a new billion dollar electric car factory in Thailand, primarily to serve right hand drive car markets, Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, possibly the UK, Japan, Malaysia, you see the point, Singapore as well. So Thailand now has become a bit of a hotspot for right hand drive car manufacturing of EVs. BYD are also building a factory there. So that's three EV factories. I believe Great Wall Motors and Aura are building an EV factory there as well. There might even be another one or two that I've missed. So what's most interesting about this list? I mean, I just quoted you the top 15 here. These numbers come from Clean Technica who have come up with this data. It's very well done from them. Jose Pontes, well done. But what's interesting to me here is this. There's only two legacy automaker vehicles here. Volkswagen ID4, Volkswagen ID3. There's nothing from Hyundai, nothing from Nissan, nothing from General Motors, nothing from Ford, nothing here from Toyota, nothing here from any of the big guys other than, like I said, Volkswagen. And realistically, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 is the best selling EV for Hyundai worldwide with 11,300 deliveries. It's in around about 17th place worldwide for the month of July. So it's really a, a bigger gap is beginning to grow between BYD, Tesla, and of course, GSE, Aon, and all of their competitors. It seems as though actually they're starting to leave them behind and that gap is growing. The media told us the opposite would happen. All these big legacy companies would, cat, would have caught up years ago by now, and that simply hasn't happened. What will happen this year? Will Tesla Model 3 be able to start picking up sales after the new version has come out? Possibly. Production could be slow, though. We do know there's a whole lot of them sitting at the factory in China right now waiting to be delivered, but still not that large of a number. It will take Tesla quite a while to actually build those numbers up. Plus, BYD's Dolphin. That does appear as though BYD are accelerating sales of the Dolphin. They're selling them in many other countries outside of China. That could be a a big growing factor for BYD selling the, the Dolphin outside of China. And I actually think the Dolphin has the potential to be the best selling car in the world. It's really up to BYD here. They're the ones calling the shots and they are overpricing it in my opinion because it's so much more expensive outside of China versus what it costs in China. Even the CEO of Volkswagen Group made that point. He said, Chinese car companies are pricing their cars at double the price outside of China. It's too expensive. Therefore, they're not real rivals. Now, the thing is that could change very quickly. BYD could change their minds on price. They did that in Australia. 
Clearly, MG4 came out, right? It was a very compelling price. 39,000 Australian dollars, about about around about 27,000 US dollars. And BYD went, oh, wow, we, we better have a cheap model too. So they basically came in with the Dolphin in Australia at a price that was lower than expected to around about 27,000 US dollar, 39,000 Australian dollar price mark. What BYD needs to force it to do that sort of thing in other countries is other competition, competitors, MG, having low prices. Then BYD has no choice and they'll have to follow suit, which will be good for customers. So when you hear this media stuff saying Tesla is driving the price of EVs down, this is terrible. Well, I personally think that is utterly ludicrous. It's the best possible thing that could happen, driving the prices down. The other thing to keep in mind is manufacturers are making a loss on EVs, but when they're making 500,000 or a million of them, that's gonna get them to the point where actually economies of scale will help them produce those EVs at a lower price. To all in all, we've seen growth this year in EV sales, 11%. But what does that mean? Well, 15% of world automotive sales were electric, so plug-in hybrid or fully electric. Of course, 11% were fully electric, so there's only around 4% of global sales right now that are plug-in hybrids. However, the good news here is plug-in vehicles, their growth was an increase of 41% in July 2023 compared to July last year. 41% growth, I'll take that. I think that's pretty good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.